The impact of a good communication strategy is indeed measurable. This means you need to have a way to track how effective your activities are and maybe make changes if necessary. Now, which indicators do you use to measure the performance of your communication? Well, you need metrics to see how many and how fast people received your information. Ideally, in your target group and not just anyone. Okay. So you can count shares, likes, clicks, views, website visits, visits, time on site, or downloads, or signups, new subscriptions, or you can even do surveys and repeat them. Just pick a few metrics that fit your objectives and don't change them over time. If you do too many, you will quickly see that there are enormous amounts of data generated and interpretation is by far not as unambiguous as you might have thought in the beginning. Let's take an easy common example. Let's say your project is planning an online event and the goal of your communication is to inform your target audience about the program. Not even driving participation, just informing. Let's keep it simple. Now, you've done your homework and you identified your target groups and you know which messages and which formats and channels are likely to work with them. There are many tools but in terms of social media you decided to go with Twitter and LinkedIn. Your objective is to get people to click on a link that takes them to the event page of your website. Well, clearly Facebook and emails would have also been great ways and channels, but in this instance, you just didn't consider that. Okay. Now, to measure your success, not overall success, but in terms of your preset communications objectives here, reshares, clicks, time on your website would be good choices. Now, this narrowing down to preset objectives is necessary. If you don't know what success look like, looks like, if you didn't define it, you will not be able to see and measure it. This is something you need to do for each of your messages. So better you don't start out with too many of them. Clearly not everything is about metrics and not all communications offers metrics as easily as digital communications. Take your time to understand which would be good measurements for each of your channels and don't try and make them perfect. Just stay focused on what's most important to measure. Remember, this is difficult territory. The purpose is to get an indication of what works and what not, or to what degree. Not really to get a comprehensive picture of how thousands of people really felt about your particular communication. Over time though, from looking at the data, you will get a more comprehensive overall picture. Now at times though, at, you might be asked to use more complex success factors to assess your communications. Mostly this means that you are charged with finding out how people actually felt about the information that was displayed or whatever your objective was. In these cases, I suggest that you have to look at comments boxes or you even run a selective research by interviewing some people on the basis of well thought out surveys. Ultimately, there's no perfect measurement of real impact of communications communications and development or generally in communications. And this is also true for other activity of development projects. The truth is twofold. You can measure success if only you break it down to something measurable. And secondly, even more complex goals can be measured if the project is ready to put in the resources to undertake the exercises necessary for that. But this you better plan in the first phase. Beyond all the metrics, there's one thing that I find true. And that is, 
If you do have impact with your communications, the project will feel it. And it's not likely that your client doesn't get wind of it. 